on Monday, Monday the 13th of June. I'm, uh, it's less than a week since I last here, but I've got another hive to set up. And I'm thinking at this, uh, this box at the end that I checked last week and found a laying queen in would be an ideal candidate. It looks as though there's some bees interested in that box. There weren't any last the other day, but I don't know what that means exactly. And the, the question is, do I use a box with the new laying queen that won't have as many bees, or an older box that will have more bees, but a last year's laying queen? And I think on balance, I'm probably better off at this time of the year having the new queen, really. Right, let's get on with it. All right, this is Jenny's hive. Uh, and I set up a, a hive of bees for Jenny some years ago and made a, a video of it. Um, says they've done quite well and made us some money so she'd like some more bees now these are not new frames apart from two which seems to be smith frames this this shorter one is i'm sure a smith. so in order that i don't get them muddled up with any of my used frames i'm going to mark the used frames not the smith frames but the used frames with uh a coloured drawing pin so I know what they which they are. So there we are, eight frames marked and two Smith's frames with new wax. Don't think I'll get those modelled up. Although they're not both the same, so they might they might just be frames with short lugs for some reason. But uh, anyway they haven't got full size lugs, that's for sure. They're looking quite happy. First job is to go through this box, find the queen, mark her, and put her into Jenny's box. That's the first step. The queen is marked. She's a, she's a dark queen. She's quite... Uh, the bees, of course, are trying to wipe off the marking, as they do. So we'll get her, get her to run around a bit. Go on, girl. I want to make sure you can move all right as well. There's quite a lot of yellow on her there. They will clean, clean it off her wings and in other places, but... Want it to dry so that they can't clean it off the thorax easily. Right, well, the queen is in is in this box now on that frame. You never know whether I've left left enough time for the uh, paint to dry, but hopefully I have. Now I'm going to move this box, put that box in its place, shake all the bees into that box, put a feeder on, give them some feed. So, first of all, get that one down and get this box up there. All right, well all the, I'm shaking the bees off the frames. All the frames had brood, so there wasn't any, uh, there wasn't any uh, choice really as to which ones to use. Anyway, they're not going to stay in there very long because these frames don't need a lot of drawing out. So I think um, within a, a few days I'll be able to whip those frames out and um, just have Jenny's frames there. So we'll get rid of those, put the feeder on. I'm not sure they need it that much right now this week, but we'll see. We'll put it on anyway. Well, I've moved the the cream from this little box that they swarmed into 
into this now empty new box and this was a frame that I gave them that was full of um, stores last week they've eaten all of that and they have actually started putting some new stuff in there so a bit of new stuff but mainly they'd, they'd eaten it but now I can put a proper feeder on for them and um, top of this um, poly box put some feed in that and uh, yeah I saw the queen didn't mark her she's a, a dark queen quite a short dark queen so um, I'll keep an eye on it and see how they go all right we'll leave um, we'll leave Jenny's hive to settle down a bit and uh, have a look at this hive of stewards this is very settled they look quite uh, quite calm there We'll have a look to see how, uh, how their syrup's been taken down and to see whether they've started laying, the queen started laying on any of the new frames as of yet. Well, there we go. That feeder was full to maximum when I left it just a few days ago. Now it's not quite empty, but within a few more hours, more lunchtime or something I think it would be so the bees have taken the the syrup down at a good old rate in this uh, in this box which is a good sign the bees here haven't started uh, the queen hasn't started laying on the new frames yet they're drawing them out and they're storing the syrup well but as yet they haven't moved further than the two frames next to my frames so they'll need to be left a while longer before the old frames can be removed so i'll top the top the syrup up and then uh, leave them for a while and let them get on with it all right it's time i pulled this lot to bits i think and um got up the uh roof that's at the bottom there that i want mm. and uh, so sort them out a bit they weren't so friendly the last time when I looked at them so we'll see how they are today might just have been an off day for them all right well, all the action was going on in the top of the two brew boxes wasn't much going on in that one but I'm going to put it back on for the time being um, possibly only temporarily I'm going to put a queen excluder on because I think the queen's in the bottom box but if you nice to be sure and I don't really want them don't want a, a swarm queen wandering around in both boxes so we'll find out which one she's in well, the bees will be disorientated for a little while because they're not used to going in right down the bottom there so they they're much more used to going in even higher than where that top corner is so it's going to take them a bit of time to get to get themselves reorientated but they will they will and then uh, I did get one sting on the ankle which is what I don't normally get but hopefully it's not the first of many but apart from that they weren't too too bad these bees uh, give them a bit longer still may take them away though all right Jenny's box has calmed down a bit now. I just need to put a, a roof on it and leave it for a while. But what about this little white box that didn't have anything in the last time I was here? There seemed to be a lot of bees around it. Time to look inside there, I think, and see what's going on. And there they are, bees. Okay, well, I'll have a quick look and see whether they've got a, a laying queen or whether they're not laying yet. Well, I couldn't uh, couldn't see any eggs and there's a couple of blank frames there. They've got to make quite a lot of wax on. Um, really, they could do yet another little box that could do with a frame of stores so I think that's a, that's the next thing to do for them I've got a blank frame here I think 
I think I'm going to raid one of the other big colonies and get them a frame of stores. There we are. A nice frame of uh, cap stores on that side. Half capped on that side. So that should uh, that should keep them going for a bit. And this uh, this hive has got an old queen in it, blue queen. So that's the year before last. And uh, I haven't looked at it much this year, but it's got a couple of supers on with the queen excluder on the brew box. I gave it a, a new floor early on in the season. So uh, let's have a, give it a look and see what it's doing. It'd be quite nice if it um, if they superseded their old queen, but uh, the last time I looked, she was certainly there. Well, box looked pretty full. Bees and uh, honey, possibly. So we'll, uh, yeah, it's getting a bit late in the evening, isn't it? Girls, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to put the lid back on. This is a full box. It needs, these probably needs more space. So, Unless I come with more space for them, I don't think I should uh, disturb them really. I might just have a look at one frame or two. Yes, yeah, so they need honey taking off as much as anything else and more space given to them. So that's what I, uh, that's what I'd better do. It's just gone seven. It's not it's exactly incredibly late at this time of year. But I'm going to leave them all be. That one's now got bees in it. That one's a uh, Jenny's box that's had a Mark Queen in. That one we don't know yet if it's got a laying queen. This one's pretty stacked full. Probably needs some um, honey taken off. That one I haven't looked at for a week, so I don't know if that's a laying queen or not. This one probably needs um, some honey taking off too. The bees in the little box that have moved in the other week have now got a, a poly box and a feeder on it. This one I'm just leaving alone. That one's empty. This one's quite busy, this one's probably got honey that needs taking off it too. And that's now a bit more sorted out. It's a spare kit there. Could have that roof put on it over there. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. And then that's it. <laughs>